Hello everybody and welcome back to How To Minecraft. Today's episode. Listen, we are in episode three of How To Minecraft and I realized while editing the last one that possibly you guys are really, really excited about the nether. I mean, it's 1.16, it's the nether update. So why don't we go to the nether? We have some basic stuff. We have a basic house. We have a basic strip mine. <laughs> We really need to figure out food. Food is bad. Okay, I'm eating sweet berries here. Now, I was originally planning on making today all about how to get food. That is what I mentioned in the last episode. But I I really want to make a chicken auto farm. And that requires some nether quartz. At least the one that I want to make requires some nether quartz. And that means I need to go to the nether. So, nether has been moved up on my priority list of things to do in my world. And so, we are going to go to the nether today. I need to do all the things to prepare for that trip. I want to head in there, explore just a little bit, and then get some nether quartz and get out. And then tomorrow's episode will probably be more about getting some food. And then we can maybe even head back and another nether after that. First thing that I'm going to do is find a new, more temporary source of food. So these little pigs here, they're going to die so that I can get some actual good food before I head into the nether. The other thing is that last episode, we found about three diamonds. We found exactly three diamonds. I don't know why I said about. We found exactly three diamonds. That's enough to make a diamond pick, which is great. I really want to go into the nether with enchanted armor, and I need five diamonds to do that. So I may head back down, do a really quick, I'll edit all of that out probably, um, about finding two more diamonds. I need to find about two, I need to find, I don't know what I'm saying about. I need to find exactly two more diamonds to enchant up. And I was, I would have critically hit those guys, but uh, there was leaves above me. So just letting you know that I am thinking about that. Somebody commented about using my critical hit more often to, uh, to kill them. So now we have some basic food. This is non-renewable. Come on, pig. Hiya. No, oh my gosh. How did I not? critically hit him anyway so that is going to be the plan for today we're gonna get some uh more food like i'm doing get some enchantments then head to the nether and explore okay i'm so hungry i can't sprint anymore i'm starving uh, i got 20 pork chops i feel like that is a good amount that should get me through probably this episode and next episode so that'll be that'll be all good. By the way, remember furnaces will furnace in amounts of eight. So if you can do your math real fast, I knew that you know eight times two is sixteen. So I knew that I had more than sixteen, less than twenty-four. So it's gonna take me three coal to make that. So I can kind of keep my coal in reserve while I'm still a little bit low on coal because I just don't have any. So we also make charcoal, but. Ah, normal coal's fine. We're not going to be doing much mining other than what I'm about ready to do right now. And where are our diamonds? Here are our diamonds. Why do I need five diamonds? I mentioned that before. The reason is, is because with an enchanting table, you're going to need four obsidian. And the only way to pick up obsidian is to have a diamond pick. So I'm going to go ahead and make my diamond pick right now. Oh, I only have a single stick. <laughs> Let's get a little bit more wood. In fact, I'll grab all that right there. Wait, did I see a stick in this? Okay, yep, perfect. Okay, we have enough of a stick for that. Here, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, that recipe book, it's fine. I mentioned that I like using it, but I realized that it's really hard to edit around that recipe book, so uh, I'm gonna just do my own crafting for a while. So there we go, our first diamond pick. I feel like I should get an advancement for that. What the heck, I made a diamond pick. Isn't it, I, isn't it diamond pick? Should I get an advancement? Guess not. Okay, let's get some food and uh, head back down and find two more diamonds for our enchanting table. And we are going to pick up some obsidian along the way. That's a big th a thing. I just got my first diamond pick. I need to make sure not to lose that one. That was that's a good that was a good memento. That's better than five minute memories. Let me tell you, this is like episode three memories. By the way, the Vigash Thal, oh my gosh, y'all's names, uh, mentioned that I should make sure that this is dug out at least five, and that way I will not hit my head as I am heading down, because right now, boom, 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 I 
I hit my head every single time I go down a block. So we're gonna mine out two extra blocks from this ceiling so that I don't do that. In the last episode, I really focused a lot on caving because I wanted the episode to be exciting. But this episode, I really just need the diamonds as fast as... <laughs> There's no way that does not look so suspicious. That looks... <laughs> strip mining until I found them you're kidding me <laughs> okay well that was <laughs> we got enchanting Woohoo! five diamonds from that that is that is great I still uh, need to get some obsidian so I am going to go and find some let me see wait Ah, oh, dang, it wasn't lava. I was wondering if I would have to mine a single block and get some lava. But uh, that didn't work out. So, we're going to go find a source of lava and mine up at least four obsidian. Okay, we found some. Okay, this is, this is good. So, oh, this is where I found the other diamond earlier. Oh, this should also be full of, uh, of lava. Okay, good. I didn't realize that this was the same area. So, we are just going to obsidianize all of this. The safest way to mine up obsidian is to actually put down a bucket of water bucket. right next to the block that you're going to mine. And this will make sure that, A, you don't accidentally fall into lava while you're mining obsidian, but B, as this obsidian breaks, if there happen to be lava underneath it, then the water moves faster, generally, about 90% of the time, than the item actually falls so the water should take that lava turn it into obsidian before the item gets burned up so this water also works in like these awkward directions like I'm turning 90 degrees here and so I, I'm it's not actually work I, I want there to be lava under this obsidian to show you the technique we're about ready to get our fourth okay well here we're just gonna grab this and we're gonna make it work boop there we go Okay, there we go. That was what I'm talking about. So, the water moved faster than the item. It also obsidianized all the lava around me, keeping me safe. Protection and bucket. also gave me that other piece of obsidian. So, thank you very much for the water. And thank you, safety bucket. Protection bucket. Was it safety bucket? Protection bucket. I hope it was safety bucket. Protection bucket. I forget what what I named that this bucket. I'm telling you that it is called a protection bucket. Protection bucket. I remember now. It was the protection bucket. It wasn't safety bucket. Protection bucket. Protection bucket. So that's all the things we got to do in the mine today. I do want to go ahead and make up some stairs because that will make getting up this whole situation a lot faster. So now I can just put down a stair as I head up. And now it is way, oh, put that one upside down. There we go. Way nicer to enter and leave the mine. So looking through my chest, it looks like I have not been able to collect any sugar cane or leather, which is what I need in order to make a book. So I could, I have two options. Either I could go searching for sugar cane and leather, which I'm going to kind of do right now, but I'm going to do that on my way over to the village that I know about, which I think pretty sure is over there and maybe if I don't find any sugar cane or leather on the way I'll be able to find a bookshelf inside oh there's some sugar cane cool so okay we have the sugar cane and I think that I saw a cow around here somewhere so we should have everything we need to make the book there we go I was like where's that third piece of sugar cane we need three to make paper to make the book uh, so we should have the cow in order to make that book for the enchanting table. That is the last piece of the enchanting table that we need. If not, oh, yep, yeah, okay. Well, there we go. I don't think we're going to be heading to the village then. Nice! Okay. There's a chance that he didn't drop leather, but got the leather, got the sugar cane. Let's head back home. Oh, there's cows right across the way. Oh, I could have just gone over there. I didn't realize there was cows over there. Okay, we'll keep you guys safe for later. It's better to be nighttime. I'm going to take a nap. Also, all of my pork chops are done. I guess while we wait for it to be night, let's go ahead and craft up this enchanting table. What was that sound? Oh my gosh, it sounded like a... Oh wait, I need to make the book first. Okay. Uh, first, let's make the book. There we go. Got paper. 
Now we have a, oh, nope, that's a very leather bound book. There we go, now we have the book. So now we can boot it and boop and boop boop. There we go, enchanting table. I'm not getting any advancements anymore. I know that I'm supposed to get, a, well, I got the ice bucket challenge. I'm confused why I didn't get the enchanting advancement. What is going on with my advancements up in here? Oh, enchant an item at the enchanting table. I need to do that first. Okay, well, what is going, I have a fox friend who is making all sorts of noise outside. Go away. I'm not gonna worry about getting high level enchantments right now. I'm at level 21. I don't really need to worry about getting all of the sugar cane and leather to make an entire library to level up to level 30 enchantments. That's not what my focus is right now. I'm just gonna get some basic enchantments on my armor just so that I have some extra protection as we head into the nether. And I already have my lapis over here. So let's take a look at what we got. I'm really protection is what I think I'm gonna try to get on every single thing. Protection one, cool. Cool, protection one again. Feather falling, Ugh, I fall a lot. It's gonna use up two levels instead of just one, but I think that for me, I'm gonna, oh look at this, projectile protection, feather falling, I'm breaking, oh my gosh, so many, so many things on that. Okay, I'm glad I did that. Protection, protection, okay, let's do this protection, there we go, okay. So that's all good. Let me see if I can get, mm, efficiency. I don't really need that. Efficiency as well, do I have arrows? I do have arrows, power, let's put power on this bow that only has 41 shots. Left on it, what do we got left? Unbreaking, I kinda want my pick to be unbreaking and I may add that to something else later. So there we go, unbreaking on my pick. Okay, so we have some protection. Now it is time to make a portal. I could head back down and harvest up the obsidian to make a portal, but I don't wanna do that, it's gonna take a long time. So I'm gonna try to make a portal here on the surface. I've looked around and I played some games earlier, some UHCs in 1.16, and I found so many ruined portals. And I have not found any ruined portals with all the exploring that I've done in the first episode. Didn't find a single ruined portal, which I'm upset about because it seemed like I was finding them all the time in that other game. But now I'm like having a real hard time finding them. Either way, I'm going to try to find a source of lava and make the portal that way using a bucket. Actually, Ah, uh, I'm, I'm just deciding no, I'm not gonna do that because that would make sense if I had a lava source nearby my house, but I don't, not that I remember at least. And that's gonna be annoying. So I'm gonna go back down and get 10 pieces of obsidian. I only need nine more because I have one obsidian already and that will make 10. So let's go back down. Oh, and use our fancy stairs that we just made. Look at these stairs. <gasps> Ooh, very nice, very nice. So we are starting to get some obsidian I'm using the technique I was talking about before. We got two chances to show it off. Look at this. Kind of regretting not getting the uh, efficiency enchantment <laughs> now that it's taking so long to get this obsidian <laughs> oh oh okay good i thought that one every once in a while the obsidian does get burnt up by the lava i thought that one was one of them but we are on our last piece of obsidian pick up our water and let's also light this up so now we can head back to the top so we also, uh, I've been getting some more iron, so I'm gonna smelt that up. And we also have 13 gold. So now that we have the obsidian, we have uh, some food, we are getting prepared to head on out. One thing is obviously, we are going to make a flint and steel right before we create the portal. But also, once we get to the nether, well, what's going to happen? We're going to have all sorts of things coming after us if we are not wearing good golden armor. Or just golden armor, not gold, gold. Just any type of golden armor, piglins will attack us. So, looking at what I made before, I think that my legs or my helmet, I guess the helmet will require two less gold. And I'm going to bring my gold with me because bartering is going to be one of the things that I want to do. That's actually a really great way to get uh, some some 
things. So we're going to do some bartering. Oh, man. What do I want? I don't know if any of I really want this protection, but it's going to be three levels. But I'll do it. I'm going to do the three level one. Because the only other option is to reset this with by using another level. So I'm going to be at least using two levels. And so I'll just use three. So, okay. I got a protection one helmet. So now we are wearing some gold. Whoops. Uh, keeping that gold with us because I'm going to use it to barter with the piglins. Let's go ahead and take a nap. And now it is time to put down our portal. I dislike the loud noises that the portal makes. So I'm going to put down the portal a little bit away from my house because I don't want this thing. In fact, maybe I'll put it up up here. Maybe that's, that's kind of a cool location. So I'm just going to keep it away from my base so that it's not always making that woof, 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 woof sound. In order to make the portal, we're going to need, like I mentioned before, 10 pieces of obsidian. Why do we need 10? Two for the base. We're going to need three for the sides uh, on each side. So that'll be six. And then two for the top. And this is the smallest portal that we can create. This is the idiot's bittiest portal that we can make. So 10 is going to be the smallest requirement. Then let's go ahead and set this thing on fire. And now we have a portal that will bring us to the nether. Water bucket's not going to do much for us. I'm going to keep some gold on us. Whoo! Okay, wish me luck. Here we go. It's not really that big of a deal, but you can definitely die, like, very easily inside of the nether. And it looks like I am in, ooh, a little ravine. We have a crimson forest right off the bat. <gasps> this is exciting, and this is what I wanted. I wanted some of the nether quartz. Very cool! Oh my gosh, exciting. Okay, I'm stealing some some of this uh, wood. Non-flammable wood, that is awesome. Shroom lights! Oh my gosh, I want to mine everything. I want everything! Also, we should definitely, I don't know why I didn't think of this before, take a photo of our coordinates so that we can get back here. Okay, any quartz I find and any gold I find, I'm going to be mining up. Very excited about being right here in this crimson forest. I'm so shocked that I don't see any mobs yet. I feel like my world, for some reason, has a really hard time making mobs. Like, I wonder if this is some bug that I have in my world. Because I'm surprised I haven't seen any piglins, haven't seen any hoglins, haven't seen anything. Oh, I just heard a thing. Okay, well, prove me wrong. Ah! Oh my god, that scared me so bad, and I just hit him. Oh my god. Gosh, he was right up in my face. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You're not supposed to hit them. Good thing I wasn't a, a zombified piglin. Holy cow, that scared me. Also, these uh, warped uh, fungus, really good to keep the hoglins away. Keep the hoglins at bay. So I may want to kill a few hoglins just to get their... Uh, Pork. No, no, I look, I'm near a thingy. Okay, good. Don't attack me. Hiya. Hiya. Okay, well, I just got rid of that. Ooh. Uh, okay. I didn't want him to flank me. That's right. Get wrecked. Yes. Pork chops. Okay, good. We're going to use this as food until we get our thing up and running, our uh, farms up and running as well. That's right. Ow! Rude. I'm just going to take this warped wart with me. Come with me, little fungi. Look at him. Look at him. Okay, let's put a warp to warp fungus down. Look at that fungus. Ha ha ha. That's right. Get wrecked. So we're going to do some bartering here. Uh, let's barter. Oops, I didn't mean to throw down two. There we go. While well, we stand next to our fungus to to do that. Okay, so what are you going to give us? What are you going to give us? <gasps> Glowstone dust. Fun. Um, here, we'll keep that there. Okay, glowstone dust back there. What are you going to give us? What are you going to give us? Gravel! Exciting! Okay, do another one. Ooh, a fire resist potion! I actually really wanted that, because I was thinking before I head in, Oh, I should tell all the people to get fire resist potion! But I didn't have any potion making materials, so I just forgot about it. But now that he's given it to me, I'm totally going to keep that in, uh, in my hot tray. Because, uh, I want that. Obsidian, one piece. Come on, you could have you could have given me two. Oh, another fire resist potion. Okay, that's good. Oh, soul sand, soul soil, soul sand. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Who is Minecraft? And bricks. 
Okay, so out of these things, what do I not want? I don't really want another bricks. I gotta just furnish those up myself. That's just taking up inventory space. Obsidian's nice. It takes a little while to get, so I'll keep that. And gravel, I might throw out if I have anything that comes along later that I would want. I'm gonna make up a crafting table because I want to make the gold. Did I? Did I... How... How did that work? Did I not just... What just happened? I need to go back and see the replay of that. Did I not just make a crafting table? Guys, I want to. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I'm so confused. Anyway, we are going to make these into ingots because they're going to take up a lot less space than all of these nuggets. So at the moment, I'm really just exploring and trying to pick up any uh, gold or uh, quartz that I find. And hoping to find another biome. Uh, it's, a, it's pretty big so far. Nothing yet that I have noticed that is, uh, oh man, they're, they're fighting a hogman. Nothing that I've seen so far that uh, indicates that there's an other biome other than, I, I see the waste, another waste. So we're in a crimson forest and we also have some nether waste and holy lava. That is a lot of lava. The nether waste is definitely the easiest place to find the things that I'm looking for, the resources I'm looking for, because the Nylium covers up a lot of this, and you have to kind of see it in the walls. So, it's best, definitely a better place to get quartz and gold. Come on, biome! Give me a biome! I feel like I'm, like, on a betting race. Like, like, l let's see, behind door number two is a new biome! No, gassed, I hear you. Okay, maybe we can... Ooh! Oh, that was a close one. That one came out of nowhere. Okay, gas, de gas. Let's see if we can get returned to Cinder over here. Uh oh, you, are you, you went out of my field of seeableness. Did you just spawn? Field of seeableness is a technical term, uh, by the way. Oh, magma cubes, you make me nervous standing on you. You can crouch and make sure you don't burn your shoes. I don't see another biome at all. I don't even, I never, I haven't seen another fortress, I haven't seen a bastion remnant, I haven't seen anything, and I am lost, I'm so glad I took a photo of my coordinates because I am not getting back home without them, uh oh, we got, uh, we got piglins, we got hoglins, by piglins I mean hoglins, huh. you need nylium to put down the, uh, the thing, so it's, it doesn't work if you're like just over here on netherrack and you're like, ah, spamming the thing, it won't work, so, just keep that in mind. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Are, they, are you mad? Go away. Don't be mad! Ouch! You're so mad. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get rid of him here. Oh look, that guy's gonna help me out here. Eh, eh, eh. Get dead. <gasps> oh man. Oh lava. Oh man. Oh I'm about to die. Yo, I love you, Wart. Wart, you are my favorite wart. Okay. Oh man. Warp warp. Warp fungus is great! Oh man, I keep calling it wart. It's not wart, it's not another wart, it's warped fungus. Whew, I freak out when I get nervous. That's right, they're gonna get him. Get him, he was mean to me! That's right, he was so mean! He's mean to- Ooh, I got- I'm helping! Nice, good job, we did it. We did it! I'd like to say thank you, and here is a tip for you, and you, and the other guy died. Sorry about that. Who did I just get? Twelve ender pearls? Twelve ender pearls? Yes. Who gave me that? You're getting another gold. Was it you? All right. Now we have over a stack of nether quartz. I'm very happy with that. We have a whole bunch of other stuff. I think now it is time to start heading back. Sadly, I did not find another. Oh, is that a ruined portal? It is. I think. <laughs> I don't know what else it could be. Let's get over there. Let's check that out. Okay. I don't know if I have enough blocks to make it over there, but we can mine up. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. Okay. This is dangerous. Uh, where is a safe location to make... Did I just hear a hoglin? I need a safe mm -hmm. location to get down there. Okay. You know what? I was just mining some netherrack, but I just had another idea. It's not going to take me three minutes to get over there. I think I'm just going to drink this fire resist potion and then just swim over there. 
Throw that over there. I really hope this works. Okay, good. We're not on fire. Let's get a swimming. We are swimming so slowly. Okay. Well, how long is this? Another three minutes. Okay. So let's try it. Huh. This is the slowest swimming. And I am uh, so nervous. So nervous. So there's a chance that I get over there and then can't get back because I don't have another fire resistant oh, to get back. Or there's a chance that it takes me longer than three minutes, which I don't think it will. And then I'll have to use another potion, a second potion. Holy moly, this is slow. Ugh! There we go. How much time we got left? A minute and 45 seconds. Okay, so it did not take that long. What, what's inside? Ooh, a golden apple. Ooh, another piece of obsidian. Some flint and steel. I don't need all that. A fortune two ho. And curse of binding boots. Okay, we're going to leave the curse of binding boots. It looks like we need one, two, three pieces of obsidian in order to fix this portal. And this may be the portal that I use to get out of here. I'm going to get this gold. And I need some more piglins. There's some over there. Oh man. Oh man. You know, we got a we got a strider over there with a with a that the guy already has a thing on him, which means that he'll already have a saddle on him. I might use my blocks to get over there and try to uh, barter for one more piece of of uh, obsidian. Oh, you know, so I'm going to put one obsidian here. One obsidian here. We need just one more to complete this portal. So we're going to use our nether rack and build a bridge. And I'm going to keep the... By the way, we got a golden apple. Uh, I'm going to keep this on my hotbar in case I fall into the lava. Okay. So I made it over to the island safe and sound. Now we just need some piglins to barter with. And I th think I see one over there. We can pick up some of this gold along the way. I see some here and over there. And use that to barter too. Hello, well, Peglin. Are you mad? I think he's mad. I think he he heard me. Oh, no. He's scared of the other guys. Uh, here you go. No, use some gold. Oops, sorry. Leather. And I see some magma cubes over there. I'm just going to basically just drop everything right there. That guy really has a lot of magma cubes. Is that... No, that's just crying obsidian. I need normal... Oh, there we go. Normal obsidian. Perfect. Great, we got it. Just a single piece, but that's all we needed. Oh, ow, ow, don't hurt me. Are you still mad? What the heck, I'm giving you gold. Okay, I'm getting out of here. They're mad at me, I don't wanna be mad at me. Looks like they gave me, oh no, they gave me ancient debris. Is that, is that what I'm seeing over there? Is that what that is? No, that's soul soil, okay. I was kind of wondering, what was it that they traded with me as I ran off like a brave person? And uh, it uh, it was not anything I want. If it was like a netherite or like ancient debris or something, I'd go back and pick it up. But I don't care. So let's get to this portal and light it and get home. Okay. We got this one obsidian that they gave us. Place it right here. Inside of this chest, I have some stuff that I can easily get back. So I'm not worried about really any of this stuff. And so, if I ever find it again, hooray. If I don't pick up my dirt, gravel, and a few things, that's fine. My inventory was just really full of other stuff. Also, it was really stressing me out how unorganized it was. Okay, now my inventory is organized and we're good. Let's make this. Let's see where we come out of on the other side. I've moved a lot of blocks. And so, I, this is not going to go to my portal. This is in a new area. It's a crazy desert thing. I'm going to pick up a ton of sand here because I want some sand for making stuff later but now we're gonna take the crazy trek home so i just looked i'm about two thousand blocks away from uh that look i think that's the jungle that's near my house um and you may be asking yourself why are you doing this in the overworld why not do this in the nether where for every one block you move you move a lot of blocks um in the overworld and the reason is is because this is just a lot safer <laughs> A lot, a lot safer. And so I'm going to kind of use this as a time to explore and get back home in a much safer way. I may need to find a bed. 
Oh, I can pick up some bamboo. Didn't even think about that. I'll pick up some bamboo for scaffolding. Nice. Okay, bamboo has been got. We are getting shot by so many skeletons. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Oh man, I'm gonna die on this way back. Remember when I said that the nether was less uh, dangerous than the overworld? Maybe not so much at night. Oh, there's a temple. Oh, a desert temple. Oh, my inventory is so full. It's so full. Okay, we're gonna go check it out. Oh, it's raining. Okay, nope. Nothing spawn, please. I always come in at it at the side. Try to light this up as fast as possible. Break that pressure plate so nothing will uh, set off the TNT below. And check what we got here. Ooh, some, some horse armor. Thorns book. Mm. Okay, so this wasn't the best. I'm not super impressed with this, uh, <laughs> with this one. We got a multi-shot enchantment. Okay, that's kind of cool. I don't really need the logs when I have the saplings, so I'm going to get rid of that. I do want a saddle because um, I don't really have any saddles yet. Basically, I am deciding to take uh, anything that I already stacked. I'm taking some bones and, and that sort of thing. Oh, man, I really wish I had more shroom lights here, but I don't. So I'm taking two saddles and some diamond horse armor and the multi-shot enchantment book. Oh, and the emeralds from these chests. Out we go. And it is turning daytime, which is really good news. Oh, it's still raining. <laughs> Darn it. Oh my gosh. Okay, there's two two pretty cool things going on here. One, flower forest biome. That's awesome. But I think I also just found an abandoned village. Wait, no. Does it just have... Yeah. Oh. <gasps> What? So this is really rare. Finding a village like this is a really rare thing to do. Look, there's a zombie villager. Oh my gosh, two zombie villagers. <gasps> what? This is crazy! I can't believe that we found this. Look at all these zombie villagers. It's a zombified village. Wow! All the doors have been broken off. All these. I want to keep them all alive. I'm so glad I found this in the rain. I want to see if I can. I need to drop. Unfortunately, I need to drop my soul sand. And I need to get some normal blocks. Uh, I don't want this log either. Let me put that back. I'm going to see if I can get some dirt. And try to lure these guys all into one house so that I might be able to convert them later. I don't know if they're going to despawn. I don't think they'll despawn. Look at them all. Look at them all trailing me. Okay, we got to find a house that we like to keep them all in. Well, that's a pretty good house, although uh, I don't know if I can fit through it. I'm hoping that they can pathfind to me. And that, oh, there's potatoes right there. I really want potatoes too! <gasps> Darn it! Okay, that's like it. Let's see. Is there a way that I can get rid of something and pick up these potatoes? What do I not need? I kind of feel like I don't need these room lights. I spawned in right next to a uh, crimson biome, and um, I'll be fine without them. I want all these zombies to attack me. Where are they going? Why are they all going in there? Where are they all go? Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, found them. So each time I break sight, line of sight with them, they just all wander off. So I really need to, like, get a whole bunch of them to notice me. I think if I hit one, it kind of calls all of them. Maybe not. Yeah, there we go. So I hit one, so they're all, they all know I'm here. I really am worried that it's going to stop raining, which will just set all these guys on fire at once. I'm trying to get as many of these zombified villagers in here as possible. Is that a nitwit? Okay, this looks good. I have a lot of them in here. I think that's where I'm going to call it for getting them out. My, uh, my shovel broke, but there's quite a lot in there. I'm still not positive that they're not going to despawn. I don't know that. This is such a cool find, and uh, I'm going to take a screenshot of my cords here. Now then, also it's raining, and I'm tired of the rain. 
So now I'm going to go ahead. Wait. Oh, it's not a thunderstorm, so I can't sleep. Okay, well. There goes that plan. I just looked up the uh, rarity of this village. Apparently, in the Bedrock Edition, it is way less rare. In the Java Edition, there's only a 2% chance that a village that spawns will be a zombie village. And in the Bedrock Edition, there's a 30% chance is what the wiki says, which seems way high. So, for those of you who have been like, I have one of these in my world, uh, that makes sense if you play on the Bedrock Edition mobile, Xbox, you know, that sort of thing. Because I have, like, never run across one of those in a normal world other than, like, trying to generate it in in all the time that I've played Minecraft. Ah, found a village. And uh, I am going to sleep to make it day. I think this... Oh, no, this is not the village that is next to my base that I... I don't think it is. Yeah, I don't... Yeah. If it is, then I did a bad job of... <laughs> Sure, all the villagers are protected. I think I have found oh, my base. So I think that that is the mountain that's right on the other side. If it's not, boo hoo, I don't know where I am. I, I, so I have the coordinates of my base. Oh, yeah, that's, is that my base? Yeah, that's my base. Okay, there's my base. I have the coordinates of my base somewhere, but I haven't looked at them yet. And I was hoping that just by, in general direction, yeah, there's my, there's everything. Okay, so this is totally my base. Uh, so I was hoping that just by generally walking in the direction I think it is, that I would get back and it worked. Hooray. Oh my gosh, there's a weird cave right here I don't want to go into right now. And we are back. Successfully gone to the nether and back. And that's really good that we're back because I am out of food. So we <laughs> take some of this pork chop that we got in the nether, and holy moly, look at all of the crazy stuff that we came back with. I mean, this is just incredible for just the amount of stuff. We got potatoes for a farm. We got tons of nether quartz for making up some comparators and stuff for m getting even more farms. 12 ender pearls. Holy moly. Got some saddles, some fire resist potions, and even some, uh, some enchanted books. That's pretty cool. So, very, very good first run of the nether. Thanks so much for watching this episode. You guys rock and are incredible. I will see you guys on the next episode of How to Minecraft.